going to be reading from Dragonflies Part 2. Certain things I do not dwell upon, like the question of hell or purgatory. I imagine instead a sense of reprieve, the flicking of a light switch, to put on darkness and the catalogue of dream songs, to be followed soon by grandfather's rhythmic patting of my shoulder to inch me into sleep. Were the strokes in time with seconds ticking or the murmurs of my heart? Too late for speculation now, I've only succeeded in scaring myself, thinking an invisible hand would land. But mostly, I'm afraid to have to find my way back to that boy not yet wind from bedtime stories and mosquito coils. So that's um, part two of um, Dragonflies. And it recalls the time when I was very close to my grandfather growing up and he would even be sleeping beside me and telling me bedtime stories. So that's a bit of a tribute to my 